Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. We know linear graphs are straight line graphs that represent that linear relationship between two quantities. Today, we will see some applications based on linear graphs. Let's see an example. Plot the following points and check which of them doesn't form a linear graph. First one, L, 4, 2, M, 4, 3, N, 4, 6, and O, 4, 7. Second is A, 1, 9, B, 3, 7, C, 4, 6, and D, 6, 7. Here, two sets of points are given. Let's check which of them doesn't form a linear graph. Take the first set of points. L, 4, 2, M, 4, 3, N, 4, 6, and O, 4, 7. For locating these points, we need a Cartesian plane. So draw the x-axis and y-axis. Since they are number lines, markings are the same as that of a number line. Point L, 4, 2, is obtained by moving four units to the right from the origin on x-axis and then two units up. Thus we reach point 4, 2, which is named L, 4, 2. Similarly, we can plot the other points M, Four three N four six and O four seven. Join these points by line segments. Here, all the points lie on the same line. So we get a linear graph. That is, the points L, 4, 2, M, 4, 3, N, 4, 6, and O, 4, 7, forms a linear graph. Now we go to the second set of points, A, 1, 9, B, 3, 7, C, 4, 6, and D, 6, 7. Here also, draw the x-y axes. Mark the numbers on x and y axes. And mark the point A19 by moving one unit to the right from the origin on x-axis and then nine units up. Similarly, we can plot the other points. B37, C4, 6. And D, 6, 7. Join these points. We can see that all these points does not lie on a straight line. So we can say that the points A, 1, 9, B, 3, 7, C, 4, 6, and D, 6, 7, does not form a linear graph. Now, we move to another application of linear graphs. Draw the line passing through 1, 3, and 3, 1. Find the coordinates of the points at which this line meets the x-axis and y-axis. Given a line passing through the points 1, 3 and 3, 1. So first, we have to draw the x-y-axis to plot the points. For that, draw an x-y plane. 
and mark numbers on the axis. Then mark 1, 3. And 3, 1, on this XY plane. And draw a line, passing through these points. Now we get a line, AB which passes through the axis. Here, we can see two points in the line which meet at, x-axis, and y-axis. When we consider point A, the perpendicular distance, from the y-axis to A, is 4, that is, the x-coordinate. And the y-coordinate, is the perpendicular distance, from the x-axis. Since the point lies on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. Therefore, point A is 4, 0. Similarly, we can find the coordinates of B. The x-coordinate is the perpendicular distance from the y-axis. Here the point lies on the y-axis. So x-coordinate is 0. And the perpendicular distance from the x-axis is 4. That is, the y-coordinate is 4. Therefore, point B is 0, 4. That is, the coordinates of the points at which the line meets at x-axis is 4, 0 and at the y-axis is 0, 4. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Write the coordinates of the following points in the given graph. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.